Hey, it's Loki. I just wanted to go over some stuff with the mod SDK that's just come out. I want to show you how to create a mod first, and then I'm going to show you how to update an old SMI. So you've got this button on the top right. If I go to the new mod and I create a name and a description, I'm going to need to select an image. That image needs to be a one megabyte PNG. So I've actually got one here. And if I now create that what happens is it's going to create a new mod but in the bottom right of the content browser you have to select show plugin content and then on the bottom left you'll see there's new mod content right here so this is a content folder the same as this is a content folder so what I usually do is try and arrange my stuff in a in a similar sort of like layout so for example I'll have a folder in here called blueprints um, and we'll just quickly make um, any any blueprint. So I'm just going to make an SQ game mode, for example, and I'll just call that BP game mode new mod. So we've got that. Um, I'm just going to save it. Okay. So in order to cook this up, what you have to do is go to share, hit package, and you can hit show output log at the bottom right. So quick, straight away, I'm just going to show you something. So just here, it says that the new mod content game mode new mod is not in the client view, um, and there will be other errors as well that you might get about main and A13. And something that I noticed was if we go to um, Epic Games, so these are all my engine versions, and then you've got Squad. If you go into configs and in engine. There is, um, in here is an A13 thing. I've actually already deleted it. I just wanted to go over it quickly. But if you delete those three lines, um, you'll stop getting those red errors in here about A13 and main. Because um, it's trying to connect to the perforce, basically. All right, so, so that's that. And then um, in this one, this is just because I have source control enabled. You shouldn't really get this issue. And anyway, um, so what this will do is it'll, it'll basically cook your mod. Um, you, should, you shouldn't get any errors doing doing that part. So the next one I wanted to show you is how to load an old mod. So if we go to this old mod that I've got inside, um, so it'll be in Epic Games, Squad, Squad, Plugins, Mods, and then you've got different mods here. So I've got an old mod and it's got an SMI. So if I hit that, it's gonna load up my old stuff, but it's not gonna have an image anymore. So if I go and try to grab one, it, um, it actually doesn't um, apply. I go to share now. It does think that it can can do this, but if I go back to load and edit, and I load it up, it doesn't have an image. And then what you'll see if I load a new mod, and just go to all files here, this preview PNG is actually in the the mod content, and that's something that isn't happening. So if I just throw that in there, and then load the old mod SMI, and select the image from there and apply that I should that should be fine now so I should be able to load it old mod so it still hasn't created it so another another way you can get around this is by basically copying um, an MI from a new mod and we'll rename it we'll edit this old mod old mod description so we can load and you'll see now it's got the image and everything so that should all be good let's just hit package and you'll see in the bottom here where the output log is and you can open this in window developer tools output log you'll see it starts to starts to cook that old mod um, so, so that's one way to get your, your old mods up to date and what you can do inside that file, what you can do inside the MI, so the SMI is actually gone now, you can you can delete that, but what we'd want to do is copy in our um, our Steam ID here. And the MD5, I actually don't know what that is, so don't, don't edit that, I guess, um, but this is your Steam ID for your mod. Um, and you can find that on, 
on your actual page for uh, for your mod on the Steam Workshop. But that's everything I wanted to just run over quickly about that. I'm going to do some more videos in the future. Um, just going over how to set up a basic game mode, change the player controller, or add things to the soldier. Um, we'll probably make some something interesting. Um, I'll talk to the guys in the mod hub and see what we can cook up. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Uh, go make some mods.